Police in Waltham go public with this surveillance video tonight. They believe the guy shown here might well be responsible for several vicious assaults. The rampage has now battered 10 people on the street over the last three weeks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. In each case, the attacker sneaks up behind his victims and then bashes them in the head with a blunt object, perhaps a pipe. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is in Waltham for us tonight. Waltham police are narrowing in on that suspect, releasing two surveillance videos of the person they believe is responsible for at least 10 unprovoked attacks in the city. Assaults that has residents here nervous. Waltham police are on the lookout for this suspect in connection with the string of violent attacks in the city. He's seen running on Prospect Street wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and baggy jeans. A little bit nervous. You gotta just be aware from people who are surrounding. People on Moody Street say they're afraid to be out at night. The latest attack happened Friday evening, about a half mile away at Chestnut and Stern Streets. The victim there was hit with a blunt object. Seemed very quiet. Um, safe. Uh, I, yeah, it's very troublesome to hear that. At least 10 people have been attacked in the past two weeks, including this man. Ahora mismo estoy temblando porque... He was left bloodied and bruised, telling us in Spanish he was taking out the trash last week at the Garden Crest Apartments and never saw it coming. I came to smoke here in the back, and then suddenly someone came from behind me and hit me with something, something heavy. Waltham and state police have been out patrolling the city, especially near the apartment complex. The incidents so far have all been similar. They always happen at night and by surprise. One woman says Waltham is not the place she'd expect this type of violence. Mental, you know, the suspect is caught. I will be more cautious. A local gun shop owner says they have been getting people coming in buying pepper spray to protect themselves. Waltham police are urging residents to be aware of their surroundings, especially at night. From Waltham, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.